Yes, guys, this is episode one of Road to Pro. We're out here on a Friday doing a little light session to, to second last session of the week at, on the field. This is got a gym later, but it's just a light gym session. But today we're just doing a light session, bit of bit of footwork in the with the bands around, and then bands through the cones uh, with the ball. And then we got with the ball work, just getting our arms up, pushing away from defender, trying to be explosive off, off the cone, just get away from the defender. And then just a bit of technique through the cone. And then finish off with just crossing. And that's pretty much it, guys. But yeah. Anyway, guys, as I was saying, uh, I'll catch up with you in a minute when I'm back home. And I'll talk more about this series and what we're gonna be showing each week on our Road to Pro. This is episode one. Stay tuned, guys. Okay, so now we're going to be moving to the first roll, guys. We're just going to tie a band, uh, one of those exercise bands, to a pole. If you have that near your pitch or any structure like that, and just try to go fast feet through the cones, just as quick as possible. I just did it around three up and back, and then uh, I knocked over the cones, so I just obviously... Stop there, went into my next set afterwards. But we're, you're going to try to do around four of them. Okay, so with this one, guys, I did around two sets each side. I'm just going to go sideways going left to right with the bands fast feet over the top of the cones this time and then going back and then two sets each side and then moving in to the next drill which is where you've got cones either diagonal either side so you're going to go in and out diagonal to the left back and then back to the middle and then back through the right side and then try to just I'd say do around three to four sets of this, but if you're feeling tired, maybe two, but do whatever you can guys. Now we're moving in just to a bit of ball work here. We're just trying to get our arm up. For this draw, I'm just trying to mainly focus on just getting my arm up because I'm just trying to get away from the player and kind of show that feint. I'm just focused focus more mainly on the arm, on the arm drill more than like doing at speed at the moment. So I'll build up over speed over time. So I'm just focused more on the arm at the moment, just getting that up. Just trying to go away from the defender, show him one way, then move away around the cone. Next, we're just going to a simple drill just through the cones but with this one instead of just going through it as fast as possible i'm going to be trying to as you can see here just trying to get my arm up and then a few times you don't have to do it every time but just trying to get my arm up through the cones and then yeah just pretty much dribbling through the cones getting your arm up and trying to go at speed at the same time as well as looking up Yeah. 
next drill since I'm a left back we're just going into a crossing drill so as you can see we're progressing the arm movement so we're going to get the go cut inside from where the balls are as you can see on the right side of your screen we're going to be cutting inside get your right arm up cut back outside touch with the left and then cross you just do this with all your balls or if you only got one just keep repeating it over and over as many times as you'd like but i'd say i've got around 10 to 12 balls there so four, uh, I did two sets of 12 and then I moved into some crossing on the other side and then finishing at the end. But I didn't manage to get any footage of that because I was in the middle of the field and I couldn't put my phone anywhere to film. So, But basically you want to try to get it, go through the cone as quick as possible, out, cut out, away from the defender, get your cross off. As you can see here, touch out my feet, cross into the box. <laughs> This is a better angle here, you can see coming up, you'll see I'll cut inside, get my arm up, go outside quickly, touch around the cone, get the cross off there. That was a lovely cross that. So basically what this channel is going to be about is just documenting my journey on a road to pro in England. So my story is I've lived in Australia for my whole life basically. Uh, I was 14 when I moved over here. I'm now 16. I was born in 2005 June and basically I was uh, I've been on trial at a few clubs. Oh, um, Cardiff, Man United but basically I've been on trial at those clubs I've got I was playing for my uh, Cardiff City I got signed there I've played played uh, on trial at Man United and I played against Tottenham Wolves Chelsea all these sorts of clubs and when, when I when I signed for Cardiff I played against Arsenal Charlton lots of different clubs guys so I've got quite a lot of experience and I'm just trying to document my journey to becoming a pro and then also help you guys. Yes guys, we're just heading into the gym now. Uh, I'll try to get a few clips of what I'm doing in the gym, but it's just gonna be a light upper body session because the legs are quite tired, so yeah. Okay guys, so we're going to be starting with uh, four sets of eight with flat bench press, just getting the 
chest working and the upper body, so four sets of eight, and then moving on to some shoulder press after that, overhead shoulder press with dumbbells. So dumbbell seated over, overhead shoulder press, followed by a um, landmine row, which you'll be seeing soon. So once the shoulder press is done after the bench press, you do the shoulder press for four sets of eight, overhead seated shoulder press, and then you move into these landmine rows, which you're gonna do three sets of eight each arm, and then followed by afterwards, you're gonna do both arms with another plate on to make it a bit heavier with both arms, pressing overhead, trying to be as explosive up as possible with your arm to create that power in your upper body shoulders. Once the shoulder press on the landmine rows are done, we're going to move into some dumbbell decline pec flies. So just targeting the chest again, but on a decline instead. And then we're going to move in to a overhead raise with a plate in front. So you're going to hold the plate out in front of you. And then you're going to slowly start to raise it up as far as above as possible and as slow as possible down, which you'll be seeing here in just a minute. So as you can see, I'm just lifting it up and try to go a bit slow down, but it's quite tough, so. We're going to do what, four sets of eight on the decline 
dumbbell pec rise, and then also today um, the uh, raises with the plate. I used the 15 kilogram plate and also 15 kilogram dumbbell. <laughs> get a protein shake, I'll film that, to show you what I put in it, and then uh, I'll chat about what this channel's gonna be like and what we're gonna be doing moving forward. So, stay tuned. Okay guys, so for my protein shake, I'm putting in some almond milk to start with, and then once we get that done, we'll get out some ice, just to make it a bit cooler and then make it more thick, this smoothie. And then we'll get some frozen banana that's pre-frozen already. So we'll chuck that in the, the shake. And then followed by some frozen blueberries as well. Just for the antioxidants and the taste really. And then we'll head it with some cinnamon powder. Just because it gives it that hit, like that little hit. And it tastes real nice. And then just squeeze some honey. And then after that, we'll just chuck in protein powder which is by uh, it is by applied nutrition and it's the critical way vanilla protein powder 